is so early. <clears throat> wow. But today is such a good day because it's a travel day. I'm flying in business class. There's no one out here right now. So today I'll be flying Cathay Pacific's business class on their A350 from Sydney to Hong Kong. The redemption I got for this flight was incredible. The value of the flight is I think $3,300, but I didn't pay $3,300, paid $60 in points. Uh, and I'll show you how at the end of the video, but this has been a day, it's really been about three years in the making because I've been hoarding points for so long, just waiting to use them. And I've used some on some small flights, but no like big redemptions yet until this one. So this is the first of many. I made a point to not look up anything on Cathay Pacific Business Class for you know the past three months, just so I can really go into this with no expectations. But I'm ecstatic. It was super hard to sleep last night. I'm sad to be leaving Bondi. I've been in Sydney and Bondi for the past five, six days and I haven't really been filming. I was working with an Airbnb in a hotel to create content for them. So that occupied some of my time and then kind of enjoying the city, you know? The editing thing still just takes me so long. It's like it's April 8th. I don't know when this video will go out, maybe a week, two weeks after, but I really need to get caught up. So yeah, that's the gist of it, but there's no one out here right now. Oh, uh, goodbye Bondi. Quick bus ride, done. Now I gotta catch a train. It's pretty cool. That's me right there, baby. didn't have to get here this early, but I want to have at least some time in the lounge. My flight leaves in like two and a half hours. I think I'll have about an hour and a half, hour and 45 minutes in the lounge. I love lounges. If I ever have a chance to spend time in a lounge, I always take it. Hi, how are you? Good morning. Yeah, it's me. No power bank inside, no portable charger. No, no. No, I live in the United States. Oh. I started in New Zealand, then Australia, and now Hong Kong. It's my first time in Hong Kong, so I'm very excited. I've always wanted to go to Hong Kong. The lounge this is the lounge invitation. Is the Qantas Business Class Lounge, okay. Hong Kong, gate number nine. Thank you so much, Xiu Ching. Got all checked in. It was oddly packed, but I think that's because check-in had kind of just opened up. have a really nice spread of food with a bunch of really good looking croissants that I want so badly, but I'm gonna save myself for the flight because I think the food's gonna be really good. So yeah, I'm gonna wait, even though I want the croissants so badly. But they have coffee. I spent more time in there than I should have, but I think the flight's about to board, so I'm just making my way over to the gate. <laughs> I'm so giddy right now. I'm so excited. Growing up, I didn't really take tons of international trips with my family. If we did, we were in economy class. I've only flown long haul business class once and I was super young. So this is like a totally new experience for me. I didn't grow up flying this way. And I've always just been enamored with just the logistics of it all. And uh, you know, I, I get stoked just to fly an economy regardless. So to do this is like such a incredible experience. Might not 
Yes, thank, thank you. you very much. Finally boarding. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. There's so much room. Three years I have been saving all my points, and today's the day I finally start spending them. So, yeah, it's pretty exciting. Okay, we just started pushing back. Yeah. The captain said it'd be an eight hour and 30 minute flight, which is much shorter than how it was initially listed. It's supposed to be nine hours and 45 minutes initially, so I wish we had more time, honestly, but it's all good. Everything is just so nice. Um, yeah, there's not really much else to say yet, so it's, it's been great. So we have about three hours and 45 minutes left on the flight, which means we're four hours in. Um, it's been great. The breakfast was wrapped up about an hour into the flight, and since then I've just been working. They're about to do lunch service, so I figure now's a good time to go over the amenity kit. The amenity kit is made by Bamford. I assume it's a Hong Konger brand, I'm not sure. Inside you have an eye mask, earplugs, toothbrush, toothpaste, mouthwash, hand and body lotion, lip balm, and hydrating face mist, all made by Bamford as well. So that's the amenity kit. The staff on this flight have been excellent. They've probably come around every 45 minutes to an hour and asked, oh, like, do you need anything? Is there any food I can get you? Yeah, it's just been a great flight. The IFE has been great too. They have too many movies to count. And they've had the cabin dimmed since breakfast finished, so most people have just been sleeping. Final course, cheese, apple crumble, champagne, and 
the water. <laughs> I'm actually stuffed, but they just keep bringing stuff. Yeah, we have like an hour and a half left, and I still haven't tried the bed. Initially, I thought we were gonna eat lunch like halfway through the flight, and then I'd be able to sleep for two to three hours after, but they didn't serve lunch until there were two hours left in the flight, so I don't really have enough time to get a nap in, but that's all right. I'm still gonna try the bed, because it's my first time trying out like a full flat bed. Yeah, I'll do the caramel, please. Caramel. Thank you so much. I really don't want this flight to end, but I know it has to soon. I couldn't sleep, but that's no surprise. So yeah, we're about to land in Hong Kong. This has been the best flight ever. It was probably a mistake to fly Cathay Pacific my first business class of war redemption because they were so good. They have that reputation. I knew that they'd be so good. Not much else to say. Just happy, tired, running on fumes, but running on excitement and adrenaline. Only 17 more minutes until it's over. I wish this flight was like six hours longer, but I'm going to a city that I've always wanted to go to, Hong Kong, so it could be worse. Thank you. Are you okay? Are you YouTube? I am, yeah. Fastest eight and a half hours of my life. The easiest immigration process ever. Although he didn't stamp me in, he just gave me a slip, so that was interesting. officially in Hong Kong. So how did I book this? I'm looking for a quiet area to explain this because I'm just about to drop some knowledge on this. I highly encourage you to stick around. The flight I just took, uh, the cash value was $3,300. I didn't pay $3,300. If I had paid points with Amex, Chase, City, or Cap One, they all wanted 330,000 points. I didn't pay 330,000 points. I paid 40,000 American Advantage miles and 60 US dollars. How did I get the miles? I got those miles from this credit card. This is the American Advantage Aviator MasterCard. Uh, the sign-up bonus was 60,000 points. The way sign-up bonuses work is you spend X amount of dollars in X amount of time. The most typical sign-up bonus structure you see is spend three to four thousand dollars in three months. Uh, that's what this one was. Um, but you can also transfer points to American Advantage. So there aren't as many bank issued cards that can be transferred to American Advantage as most airlines. However, there is one card and it's this card, the Built Master Card. Listen, if you pay rent, you should really have this card. In my home country, the United States, rent is one of the biggest expenses that one has. Other than a roof over your head, you don't get much return from paying rent and it's a massive expense. Let's say you pay $2,000 in rent. That's $24,000 a year that you're not getting any benefit from other than just a roof over your head. You're not building equity in that property, you're only building equity in the property for your landlord. You work too hard to not reap any other reward. It's always been that way, but now, finally, thanks to this card, 
you can be rewarded for your hard work and for your money that you spend on rent. I'm really hot, so I gotta take this off. So the built MasterCard earns one point per dollar spent on rent. That might not sound like a crazy accrual rate, but here's what's so great about it. Number one, the card has no annual fee. I don't know how this card has no annual fee. It is completely structured and has the benefits of a card that has a pretty high annual fee, but for some reason it has none. So for that reason, it's sincerely one of the best cards in the world, just period. If you really wanna get savvy with it, you can do what I did. What I did was, when I was in Denver, I was in a two bed. My rent was 1,700 a month. I paid the rent for myself and my roommate, which means I got 3,400 points per month. 3,400 times 12 is 40,800. I got 40,800 points in one year for really doing nothing extra, not much extra work for me, just setting up the card, putting it on auto pay, and putting my rent through it. And because of that, because of those small steps, I just got a $3,300 business class flight from Sydney to Hong Kong. This whole entire world is a game that I'm very passionate about because I have failed at so many things that I've tried in my life, and I've succeeded at this, and it's not that Hard. It's not rocket science and it's there for the taking for everyone. I wouldn't be able to travel as I do if I didn't leverage this ecosystem. But if you learn how to do it, if you learn how to do the two pillars, which is one, get the points, two, spend them effectively, you'll spend the majority of the rest of your life in the front of the plane. I didn't do a great job of explaining this, but it's something I'm gonna go into deeper as the channel goes on. Um, let me know what questions you have. Also, I don't have a huge following, so like, if you have any questions, just message me on WhatsApp or any sort of social media, and I'll answer your questions for sure, because I love talking about this. But yeah, that's how I booked the flight. That's all for now, but it's time to go to Hong Kong. are just crazy and we haven't even gotten to the center of the city. Off the train, now I gotta catch a bus. It is so good to be in Hong Kong. No idea where I'm going. I don't even see any signs for an exit, let alone a bus, so. I think I found it. Very surprised to learn that you can't buy a ticket at just like a normal ticket station. You have to buy it at a service center, at a customer service center. And then when you're at the customer service center, you have to pay cash. So I don't know if we're in 1980, but it is what it is. And so now I gotta go find an ATM. Got the cash. Okay. Figuring out a new city is always so much fun. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing out here. Ah, uh, screw this. That's how you do it. I have burned every single calorie I gained from that flight. 